Hello coders, I am Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video we are getting started with our very first full game series in Unity 3D. Before we get started though, I do want to cover a few things related to this new series. First of all, this series is going to be targeted towards people who are new to Unity. We are going to create some more advanced full game series in the future, but we wanted to complete this simple series first. This series will give us a lot of insight into how we should formulate the future series. So in this series, we will create a fairly simple game. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the demo project that we will be creating. Now this is just a really quick demo of what I've already created. What we are going to be creating is a little more advanced and a little better designed than this one, but this will convey the purposes of this series. We're going to create a quick menu scene. We'll be able to have buttons and then click on the buttons to load levels for us. We're going to have a cannon model that we can click and drag and actually rotate. We're going to have a slider that we can increase the power of the cannon. And we're going to have a button that allows us to actually fire the cannon. When we fire the cannon we can see that the camera changes and the cannonball didn't quite reach the target there, so let me increase the power a little more. We've got a couple of particle systems that are, are occurring in this game, and we're, we are awarding different score points based on which platform was actually hit. Okay, so there are several other things in this game that we are going to be creating, including different objects and things like that, and stuff that can give a greater reward to the player, but for right now, let's go ahead and actually get started with creating this project. So we're going to go ahead and go up to our file, new project. Okay, now inside of our new project window, we can just change the project name to something like Cannon Blast. Make sure you specify that it is a 3D project and just save it wherever you want to on your computer. Now let's go ahead and create our project. Okay, so now our new project has been created. We can see that we are just inside of an empty scene here. Okay, so the first thing that I actually want to do for this project is import some of the standard assets from Unity. So what we're going to do is go up to Assets, Import Package, and then we are going to import the particle systems. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just import all of this. We really only want the prefabs, but it can get a little tricky choosing which things to import and not. So let's just go ahead and import all of it. Okay, and now that that is imported, we can click on our standard assets. And as you can see, it actually created four new folders for us. We've got the cross-platform input, an editor folder, a particle systems folder, and a utility. So let's go into particle systems. And as you can see, we've got materials, some guideline, a uh, guideline file, some prefabs, scripts, shaders, and textures. So if we go into our prefabs, these are the ones that we're primarily going to be using for this game. You know, so we're going to be using like a smoke trail, uh, explosion and things like that. We do actually need to import another package though so let's go up to our assets here and we're going to import package and this time we, we are going to import prototyping. And as you can see it looks like some stuff has already been imported so it will not import again. If we scroll down we can see what's being imported from the prototyping folder. And this is primarily pulling in a lot of like models and um, materials and some stuff like that that we can use to just sort of quickly build out some scenes. So now let's go ahead and actually import all of that. Okay cool it looks like that is imported so let's now go out to our prototyping folder over here and as we can see again we've, we've got materials, models, prefabs, shaders, and textures. So let's look at like the prefabs here. And If we click on a prefab we can see over in the inspector what model we're looking at. So as you can see, it's just got a lot of models that we can use to build out our scene fairly quickly here. A couple of ramps and steps, things like that. Very cool. Okay, now let's go ahead and start building out our first scene. Now the first thing I want to actually do is create a floor for our scene. So I'm going to find one of these models here. Looks like we've got a floor prototype. Let's go with a floor prototype uh, 8 by 1 by 8. We'll just drop it in here and let's zero out the dimensions. And now let's actually, that's actually kind of small. You know, it's not really as big as we want it to be. So let's kind of, so let's mess with the scale a little bit so we can make the, let me get in a pretty good facing position here. Let's up the X by 2. And now let's do the Z by 4. Actually, let's just go big in the Z and go 10. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. And now let's actually move the position forward in the Z. So we're going to move, uh, let's say, 7. No, let's go 10 in the Z. 
Okay, so now we've got just sort of like an alley that we can use our, we can put our cannon into and actually fire the cannon through this alleyway. The next thing we may want to do is add some walls. You may have noticed in my game I didn't have walls, but for this first introductory introductory level we are going to have a few walls here. So let's find a cube that's kind of small here. Got some pillars, a wall, there we go. That's what we want. Okay, now let's go ahead and actually rotate this guy 90 degrees in the Y, and let's set up the positioning so that it is right on the edge. Okay, that looks pretty close. And now let's go ahead and update the scale in the Z again. Remember we used the value of, uh, oops, we can't update it in the Z because that we rotated it, so let's actually rotate it, or increase it in the X. So we use the value of 10 for the floor, so let's use a value of 10 for the wall again. Let's just move it back, and it doesn't look like they're matching up. So let's go 12, nope, 15, nope, 13, 14, 13.5, close enough. Okay, now let's go ahead and move this back a little bit. Okay, cool. Now we can actually just go ahead and duplicate it and move this over to the other side here. Very cool. Now another thing that we can add in are things that can actually block the cannonball. So we could create like some uh, pillars. We can just choose a pillar here and just drop one in. So we can put one like right here. Then you just use Command D or Control D to actually duplicate. And just sort of stagger these guys throughout our level a little bit. Now the last thing I actually want to do for this level is put put a little target down here on the end. So let's go ahead and do that. It looks like we're actually going to have to create the targets ourselves because I don't see anything that we could easily rework to be our target. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to create a new game object, 3D object, and we're going to create a cylinder. Now let's go ahead and zero this guy out here, move it down to the end, focus up. Now one thing that you'll notice is that the cylinder actually uses a capsule collider, so we may want to change that out a little bit later, but for right now that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and actually resize this guy because that's way too tall of a target. So we're going to take the Y scale and change it to like 0.25, nope, too big, 0.1, that's pretty good. And let's go ahead and drop it down a little bit. And we can just put it right there, that's okay. And now let's actually increase the scale on the X and the Z. So we're going to set it to a scale of 2 on the X and the Z. Uh, let's go ahead and go 4. So that's going to be sort of our lowest points awarded here. And let's go ahead and go back out to our assets directory and we're going to create a new folder. So right click create folder and we can just call this materials. Go into our materials, right click create material and we will call this our red score material. Let's go ahead and just change the albedo color of this one to like a red and let's apply it to our target here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we can actually just go ahead and let's get rid of the capsule collider for now. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that component. So right now there are no colliders or rigid bodies or really anything on this object, which is okay. We will add those in in a later video, but we do want to go ahead and add the other two targets here. So we're going to duplicate this one twice, move the first one up, and we're going to reduce the scale of this one down to two by two. Actually, let's go three by three, three by three. Okay. And let's take the last one, move it up again. And we're going to set the scale of this one up to two, whoops, not the Y, the X and the Z to two by two again and we can just go ahead and re lower that down. Oops, a little too low there. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and create the other materials we're gonna need. So we're gonna right click create another material and we, we can just call this yellow 
score and we can just drag it into here and now let's change the color choose a yellow it's pretty good yellow got a little bit of green in it but that's okay and now we're going to create our last material here so right click create material and we can call this one hour green score and let's change the color to a green pretty good green and just drag it in there okay cool now just looking at this from like a higher up angle I can tell immediately I don't like how large the green score platform is so let's click on it and change the scale to like 1.5 by 1.5 much better I like that a lot better you know we want to make it a little bit of a challenge for the player to actually hit the biggest reward so that's why we're making that a little bit smaller okay cool so now we've got a pretty good little scene that we we'll, we will be able to build some stuff out in so let's go ahead and actually go to our assets folder again and we're going to right click create a new folder that we will just call scenes let's go into it and let's go ahead and save our current scene so we can actually go up to file save scenes and since this is our first time saving this scene we actually need to specify a location and a name so we'll just click on our scenes directory that that we just created and we can just call this one prototyping and go ahead and save it okay coder so that is going to do it for this video again it was a really quick introduction video in the next video we are actually going to create our canon model in blender so that should be really cool don't forget to like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching